morning guys so today is our last full day here in Baja California and I just came to the top of the hotel here where we've been staying the last two days pretty pretty good hotel called Juan La Pais and just to show you a bit better the pretty good views here of La Pais you see all the way around got views of pretty much the whole city 360 views so today we're going to be doing some snorkeling once again with the same company, they're called Club Cantamar I think and this time it's going to be with whale sharks so a lot more like scarier thing than the sea, sea lions but they are, they are friendly apparently so I'm not really that afraid and this one is actually going to be cheaper, it's going to be like $35 but it's because the tour is only like 2 or 3 hours long the one yesterday was like the whole day and yeah, same again, we're just going to be having breakfast and then we're going to head there to the club and then, yeah, check out some whale sharks. So I'm here, here outside the boat tour store again in La Pais and today's going to be a bit different than yesterday because today we're actually leaving here from La Pais instead on the boat instead of like 30 minutes up north like yesterday, so that's a lot better and right now I think we've got to, we're going to be going in, in like 20 minutes time. We just arrived back from the tour, so as you can see those things were absolutely gigantic. They're actually the, the biggest fish in the world. They're not actually a whale, they're just called whale sharks because of their size, so yeah that's why they got that name. And it was actually way more tiring than we were expecting. Those things were, were pretty damn fast, so it was good though. The tour yesterday was a bit more fun though because it was the whole day, but yeah it was still worth it for $35. And right now we're going to be heading back to San Jose del Cabo. We're going to have to find a hotel to book as well. And then we're just, we're just going to see what we're going to do for the rest of the day. We're not quite sure yet. So we're like halfway on the way there to San Jose del Cabo and we had a big scare right now. I hadn't paid attention to how much gas I had so we was like running on empty and we're in the middle of nowhere like just desert with cactuses. But then we put it in Google Maps and we found some like mechanic and uh, yeah he had gas so he did that thing with a tube where I don't know he like sucks it and then yeah filled our gas so super lucky. We, we was like pretty scared because it's boiling hot. but. Yeah, I thought I'd make the most of it now since we're in like the countryside, middle of nowhere. Get some cool drone shots of all this like sea of cactuses that I keep talking about. So get a better perspective.
so hopefully you saw a bit of the real Wild West. Now we're gonna get back on track and yeah, I think about in about an hour, we're, we're there. So we just arrived in San Jose del Cabo just now and we had decided before the trip that we'd have at least one day in like a really special hotel for our honeymoon because we've been doing everything like really cheap for around like 40 to 50 dollars. So today we just booked a hotel that's, it was, I think it was like $160 per night but then it, it went to like $200 but we didn't expect this amount of luxury. Like this is really impressive. So here you got like a living room. Over here you got the big, pretty big bathroom. And through here we have the the bedroom here and then like a little veranda and that's overlooking the pool that is over there so yeah me and Carol have never really spent anywhere in a place like this before <laughs> but yeah we gotta make the most of, of what we got at the moment since might not be doing this often So that was a quick tour of the outside. You probably saw how, yeah, how fancy this place is. And we actually have to go now. The honeymoon has come to an end. So my overall opinion of Baja California is definitely a, a very positive one. I think this is more of a place to come if you like beaches, because yeah, here's just non-stop beaches all the way around the coast, all the islands, just beaches, beaches, beaches. It seems like a lot of people come here to stay in the resorts as well, like we're doing today. The other days we didn't really, and um, the cities, like the downtown area of the cities, I found that they don't really have much. It's all very small, so you can't really spend an entire day in like the downtown areas. Just yeah, just very small, like I said. But um, oh, the, one of the main things here is obviously the snorkeling and scuba diving. Some of the some of the groups that was with us on the on the boat tours, they are actually like um, snorkeling groups from like the U.S. and stuff that come here just for the good um, snorkeling with the, the whale sharks and the sea lions right so if you ever come here definitely I think the snorkeling is a must that was like the the highlight of our honeymoon I think and besides that price wise we thought the prices were pretty similar to us actually when we do our road trips in America it wasn't that much difference the food was slightly cheaper here but accommodation and hotels and everything it's pretty much the same for like two three stars hotels we were still paying like fifty dollars a day the car rental cost us like thirty dollars a day because the actual rental of the car is only like three four dollars but then you've got to pay for insurance here so then it ended up getting bumped up to like yeah thirty dollars a day like i said and then food for breakfast it was usually costing us like four or five dollars but then um i think lunch and dinner was somewhere around like it could go for anywhere between like fifteen dollars twenty five dollars um, sometimes that was for two people though, $25 for two people. Just depends where you eat really. When we were in uh, Cabo San Lucas, we ended up spending a lot more. I think we spent like 50 or 60 for two people. But yeah, the prices are definitely not, not so cheap compared to other places in Mexico that we've been to. And um, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I've got to say. The people, people are friendly obviously. We met some like really cool people on this trip. And if you like this video, I'm actually going to do a playlist of the whole Baja California like trip. I'll make a playlist that I'll that I'll show at the end. And check out my other videos as well. So hopefully if you liked it, you'll give me a like on this video and subscribe if you want to see more and check out my other videos. And that's all from me. Until the next one. <laughs>